so in this video i am going to explain solution of this problem which were recently asked in confucius round 892 written for division 2 only so first let us understand the problem statement so the problem is so the problem name is another permutation problem so what problem has said that we will be given an integer array n and what we can do we can form a permutation from 1 to n hopes you understand the meaning of permutation so we have to create a permutation from 1 to n and what what we can what we have to do we have to sum up the 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 number present at i th position in my permutation and i have to multiply that number with that position and sum up all the numbers and after that i have to i have to minus the maximum number among that numbers for example in this case i have a uh, for example i have, if i write the sequence for 2 sequence for 4 so my my n is equal to 4 n is equal to 4 so let my permutation array will be 1 2 4 3 so the corresponding index would be 1 2 3 4 so what i can do i can simply multiply all these numbers and which in the multiple of 1 plus 1 1 into 1 will be 1 2 into 2 will be 4 and this is 12 and this is 12 now what i can do i can simply minus the maximum element of all these numbers so the maximum element of all this number is 12 so i will simply minus and the sum of remaining elements would be my answer so the sum of remaining answer is indeed 7 so this is the problem statement so i hope you have understood the problem statement so this problem has a pretty much good hint in this in the in the sample test cases for example in this case if i show you the if i if you show the permutation of 4 so the permutation of 4 will be 1 2 4 3 which is yielding the maximum sum so my if my n would be for example if my n is 5 so for example if my n is 2 so for 2 they, for 2 what I, they have done they have set a permutation like 2 and 1 which is yielding the maximum sum this is for 4 this is for 2 now if i show you for 3 for 3 what they have do i can they have only do the 1 3 and 2 and the sum of this array would be 1 into 6 into 6 so i am minus this from my summation and the sum of 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 so this is the problem only so what you have observed we have observed that they have only they are only reversing a particular segment of the array they are only reversing a particular segment of the array and finding the maximum sum from it from this we can gain a hint I, if I reverse a particular segment from the array, I will get a my maximum sum. For example, in this test, test case which is equal to 10, in many of you are wondering how come 10 is giving the answer as 303. So first, uh, I I was not able to understand how is this coming. So then I have I I have used proof for permutation method to find the which array, which array, which permutation of 10 is giving me this answer. So what I have found the permutation like 1, 2, 3. 4 5 and here it is 10 9 8 7 which here it is 6 here it is 10 9 8 7 so you can find the sum of this permutation of 10 and you will get the answer is 303 and which is maximum so here what they have done but what the answer what what the maximum what is the permutation which is containing my maximum sum so the my permutation it is it is this and here what i have done here the answer is coming by reversing a particular segment from the last so i have again gained a hint which means if i reverse a particular segment from the last i will get them by maximum sum for example in the case of 20 but the answer would be i am not showing you the what is the what will be answer which means uh, here if i if if my array is like this 1 to 20 i will get a maximum sign by reversing this segment or by reversing this segment or by reversing this segment or by reversing this segments which my which means my sum would be maximum of this sum plus maximum of reverse reverse array reverse of this array so this is my only this is my problem intuition so i hope you have understand the problem and solution as well so my solution would be so if i again show you my solution would be i will first create a permutation first i will create my first i will create my array then what i will do i will simply 
रिवर्स माय रिवर्स माय एरे फ्रॉम द बैक लाइक दिस सेगमेंट फर्स्ट आई विल रिवर्स दिस सेगमेंट देन फाइंड द सम देन रिवर्स दिस सेगमेंट देन फाइंड द सम देन रिवर्स द दिस सेगमेंट एंड फाइंड द सम सिमिलरली बाय चेकिंग ऑल द रिवर्स एरे आई विल फाइंड द सम एंड द मैक्सिमम ऑफ ऑल दिस ऑल दिस परमोटेशंस इज माय आंसर सो इस इज इट्स इंप्लीमेंटेशन इज प्रेटी मच इजी सो इफ आई शो यू दिस इंप्लीमेंटेशन so here is it implementation what i will do i have simply checking for all the sizes from 1 to n because you can see my constraints are very much low, very much low so what i will do i will simply traverse from 1 to n and what i will do i will simply i will if my this for example my k is the current size of my segment my k is my current size of the segment if my i is smaller than equal to k i will simply sum i will simply plus the i into i because initially the initially the segment which is not reversed will be containing the corresponding index from that number for example if my 1 2 3 4 is a array then if if i reverse 3 4 in that array then my 1 and 2 are originally in that place only so i will multiply 1 into 1 2 into 2 so here it is so so that's why here it is i into i so if my i is greater than k which means that is a reversed part so what i will do i will simply calculate the last index of the array and multiply that number and 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 in and similarly for the rest rest of the elements also so by doing this i have to also calculate the maximum of all the sum because my maximum i have to subtract the maximum from my sum so after calculating my max after calculating my sum i will simply store the answer as sum minus my maximum sum so maximum of all these answers will be my, my original answer so if i show you the this so you here you can see i am getting into the right answer for all the test cases so this is the pretty much implementation and sort conclusion of the problem c so if you like the video please click subscribe and don't forget to don't forget to subscribe my channel till then stay tuned for the next one thank you